Merry Christmas, everybody. Good morning, still only just. Hello to you anyway. It has been a chock-a-block morning, but a good one. I managed to get out and do the trip to the bakery on my own, which was really nice. It was really foggy and misty this morning, so it was really like eerie. And even when I was like just down the road from the bakery, I couldn't even see the lights of the bakery until I got closer. The fog was so thick, it's lifted a bit now. But it was a really beautiful winter morning, that's for sure. And then we got straight on it. Of course, all the cleaning and tidying, even though there wasn't much, still took about an hour longer than we expected it to. Ben has done a stellar job at the bathrooms and the downstairs, the hall, and I've been doing the bedrooms and the living room and the kitchen and stuff so i'm glad that that's all done i've had myself a shower and i'm just getting ready now my mum will be here in about 20 minutes half an hour or so to get all the food ready to go and it's just opening it up and putting it like on the table and stuff so it shouldn't be too strenuous but everyone else is due to arrive from one o'clock and I'm so excited. Both of my brothers are coming. Um, my brothers live in Manchester, so I don't get to see them very often. They're younger than me and they're twins. Um, so I'm really excited to spend some time with them, catch up with um, Alex in particular. I haven't seen him for ages. I've seen Robert quite recently, but not, not Alex. So I'm looking forward to catching up with him, spending time with my sister and my nephews. And of course, my lovely grandma will be coming with us as well. We've all been, um, sending each other pictures of our um, lateral flow test results. Like, we're all good, we're all clear. Like, I guess that's just the times we live in. Can you imagine? So yeah, we're all good, we're all tested, we're all clear, we're all ready to go because we wouldn't want anyone to get poorly, particularly my grandma. I ended up staying up quite late last night um, wrapping the presents took longer than expected and then I edited and uploaded I just I know it would be totally okay to upload the vlogs the next day but I feel better like going to bed with it done and so I can then start the next day like afresh and not have to like <laughs> hi baby hello baby I'll get you dressed in a minute. Yeah, you're gonna put your fairy princess on. This one. This mine. This one. Yeah. Go on then. Maybe wait and see what Santa brings you. I'm back with some wild hair. <laughs> Just treated myself to a blow dry. I never blow dry my hair ever. Kind of can't be bothered. Kind of don't need to. I'm um, better for my hair. Yeah, it's finished now, baby. 
Um, so yeah, occasionally I'll treat myself to a little blow and it's nice. Mummy, mummy, mummy. Apologies for the background noise, Penny's watching my phone. It's the only way I could get ready. Are you ready for this? I'm a Christmas fairy! It's so sparkly! I actually got this from a vintage shop in Dublin when me and my husband went to see one of my favourite bands. And I got this and wore this to the gig. And I haven't taken it out in years, but it's totally festive. I feel like a fairy princess. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So oh, it's true. I'm so glad, feel it too. Nothing to wonderful day the Christmas Eve party was wonderful we had such a lovely time I'm so proud of all the food that me and my mum managed to put together it's amazing the kids loved the decorating and it was just the cookie decorating and it was just so lovely to all finally be together again it was the first time we'd all been together like including my little brothers and everything so it was just just wonderful I'm trying to get to my Aunt Christmas Eve cast on the go um I'm just doing a gauge swap so I don't know if it counts as a Christmas Eve cast on because I won't cast on the actual project today but I'm swatching for it I'm swatching for the September sweater by Petite Knit but the junior version I want to make one for Penny um Partly because I also want to make one for myself eventually, so I thought, well, I'll start with the little one so I can get used to the techniques and the construction, and then maybe I'll do one for myself eventually. And I was also um, given this yarn by my dear friend, Simona. She chucked it in when I ordered some yarn recently, and I've got the perfect amount to make the September sweater. Hopefully, we'll see from my gauge launch. Um, I'm a little bit out of practice with my brioche and I'm finding it a little bit fiddly in this yarn because it's a little bit splitty. It's the Lana Gatto Baby Alpaca 
and yes it's quite loosely plied but I'm also working with quite a small little thing it is the right uh, recommended stitches and obviously brioche grows a lot so it, I think I'm going to get a gauge with it but it's coming up a lot darker in the in the video it's a little bit pinker in real life I'm not drunk this time. I wasn't drunk yesterday. I was a little bit squiffy, but <laughs> yeah, I'm just very tired. It's been a very long and physical day. My back was killing me by the end of the day. I had to whack on a heat patch and take a painkiller. I think I'm going to enjoy one more drink with my father and then I'm going to go to bed because the kids are probably going to be up quite early and I am absolutely shattered. So I hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas Eve. And I will see you all tomorrow for the big day. Merry Christmas and good night. Well, is it still morning? No, it's about 12 o'clock, so good afternoon. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. It's been a wonderful morning. The kids managed to stay in bed till about seven o'clock though. Jeff did wake up at about half three in the morning, of course. His stocking was at the end of his bed and he bought it into us and he wanted to open it. So we got a little bit upset when we said it wasn't time to open it yet. But he eventually fell asleep and it was, it was me, Jeff and Penny in our bed and Jeff went and got it. Ben went and got into Jeff's bed. So yeah, a little bit of an up and down night, but then we all slept until seven o'clock. And yeah, it's just been your typical Christmas morning really. Jeff's been like all over the shop, so excited about opening his presents, everybody else opening their presents and everything. So yes, it's been a little bit chaotic on his part. Penny has been way more chill. She's actually still got a few presents to open, but she's Oh, over my eye. She's too busy playing with the presents she's already got, so that's nice. I thought I'd let you know what my present from Ben was. He's done good. He's done very, very good. So the present itself was a book, and I opened it, and it was a book all about... Does that look ridiculous? That looks ridiculous, doesn't it? That's ridiculous, Dora. <laughs> the book was all about... Um, ceramics and how to make different ceramics and I was like oh this is interesting like I, I love ceramics I like to learn to make them and then in the back of the book was a little note and he booked me um lesson pottery lessons to learn how to do ceramics and throw on a wheel and all this kind of stuff and it's really local as well so I just have to book it in and I get to go and spend the day learning how to do pottery and I'm so excited honestly it's something that it's one of those things that you really want to do but you just never get around to like actually sorting it out yourself so yeah he's done really really well he loved his jumper it fits beautifully he's not going to stand there and model it for you but i've taken in a few little snippets of it but yeah the length is perfect the fit is perfect the sleeves are perfect and i'm just so glad that it's not absolutely massive on him and looks ridiculous like the past few years <laughs> We are about halfway through the food prep. Me and my dad are making the Christmas dinner kind of between us. We're having the cockerel, as you all know, and the cockerel is cooking. 
and then just all the trimmings and all the bits and pieces it's really quite chill like i refuse to get stressed out on christmas day i refuse to be stressed out by the cooking because it's just an absolute waste and in the end there's only three of us so it's not like there's huge amounts to do anyway last night ben made a tiramisu and it went really really well we messed it up a little bit last year and we split the cream but this year we managed to make our zabaglione and everything so it's proper authentic tiramisu so i'm looking forward to that later and then my dad will be going home later on and then so this evening we'll just be chilling out i did do an actual christmas eve cast on last night separate from the swatch that i did um my dad has a teddy bear that he had from when he was little and even then it was second hand so it's a very very old bear um and i'm making the bear a jumper because it's got like quite a few little bear thread patches and you can see the stuffing and we're going to look into darning him because he's got a little patch on his face that needs darning but in the meantime i'm going to make him a little jumper to match the one that jumper my dad was wearing yesterday so they can sit there and match so that was technically my christmas eve cast on so when that little jumper's done, I don't know what I'm going to be working on next, really. I haven't got any major plans. I need to finish my first sweater. I need to finish my Augustine's dress. And I've got a few other whips on the go that need to be finished off. But I think I'll probably be casting on something new. Penny's September sweater. But I don't really know. So, yeah, it's going to be chilled on for the rest of the day. And then I'll be... I might edit tonight. We'll see where we go. So I hope you're all having a really lovely Christmas day. Thank you for joining me yet again. And I'll catch up with you at the end of the day. Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. On the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens with sleigh. There's a ring in December is where the children are singing. Yeah. It's Merry Christmas, baby. everyone merry christmas again i feel like i should say merry christmas every single time apologies if you can hear bluey in the background but that's the nature of our life it is early evening it's about six o'clock the kids are just having some tea um they weren't into the christmas dinner so this is like their first meal today but christmas day what can you do um, and my husband has just taken my dad home so i thought i'd take this opportunity to sit down and have a little chat with you it's been a really lovely day i had so much fun making the tea making the tea making the christmas dinner with my dad it was definitely a group effort and that was a really nice thing for me and him to do together and it was blooming delicious if i do say so myself um and then we went for just a small walk around the village my back is killing me i'm not gonna lie standing up pretty much for two days solid his ruined me and um, i think i'm gonna have to go and see a doctor because it's not normal um but i'm gonna have a really nice long hot bath tonight which should hopefully soothe my muscles nicely and then i can have a big long sleep um i did mention in the last episode that there was a little something special coming for you guys today um i just wanted to say a little thank you to everyone who's been watching along with these vlogmases with me i know it's not my normal content at all and it's quite different and it's been my first one but it's been so enjoyable for me to do and i feel like i've gotten to know so many of you in the comments like some of you have been commenting on every single video and i just feel like i recognize your names now and it's yeah it's been really really enjoyable for me and i know that there's a lot of these videos around at this time of year and it can get a little bit overwhelming i've certainly been overwhelmed by it and haven't <laughs> i'm not up to date with all my ones that i have been watching but i'm looking forward to sitting back and 
watching everybody's last few episodes tomorrow when I've got absolutely nothing to do. I'm so excited. Um, so I wanted to do a little giveaway for you guys and I've been collecting prizes for the giveaway. This is one prize, it's going to be quite a big prize and I'll show you what I've got for you. First of all, I asked my mother to make you a project bag. Can, can we just, oh my lord, it's just, it's so gorgeous. I chose the fabric. I thought it was festive with the oranges, but you could still use it all year round. So yeah, this is your project bag and it's a drawstring with beautiful little beads. And of course, there's a little miniature notions pouch on the inside with a little handmade progress keeper that you can use as a progress keeper or just as a little ring put on your zip. Um, and that was all made by my mum. Gorgeous job as usual. Uh, second little prize is, I couldn't resist. You may recognise it. It's what I've got one of these mugs and I absolutely love it. And I thought, well, if you watch my videos, you'll know about this mug. It says, she believed she could, but then she couldn't be asked. <laughs> So that will be in your little goodie bag. If you don't use the she pronoun, absolutely fine. Let me know if you're the winner and I will sort out something different for you. And then finally, because it's me and we all know how much I love the Arvetta, I'm gonna give you two skeins of Arvetta in my absolute favorite shade, the most popular, I think, red squirrel. You can make yourself a scoring hat with these or some mittens, anything you like. And speaking of which, I will also be throwing in a copy of the school run collection. If you already have it and you're the winner, you could have my um, colorwork socks patterns, or I'll just refund you for the school run patterns, or you can choose a pattern of whichever pattern you like from any design on Ravelry and I will gift that to you. So that's your little prize. I really hope you like it. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is just um, leave a comment. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be an emoji. It can say Merry Christmas. You can um, tell me your favourite moment from Vlogmas so far. Tell me the favourite bit of your Christmas so far. Doesn't matter what it is. Just leave a comment and I will draw a winner. I think I'll probably draw a winner in the new year because I'm probably not going to be posting now for a little while. I don't know when the next podcast will be. Kind of depends how the next few days go. I would like to film one, but we'll see. We just, I just really, really need a, a chill few days. And then we're going down to Devon for new year. So I won't be filming down there. So I'll probably wait until the new year after my birthday. My birthday is on the 3rd of January. So after that, I'll try and film you guys. A podcast and I will announce the winner then so I will do a little community post as well to say when the competition is going to end and I'll also put in the caption in the drop down of this video when the competition has closed in case you're watching this after the date it's been posted so yeah I think that's all the giveaway admin leave me a comment win a prize Merry Christmas <laughs> So with that, I'm gonna round it off and wish you guys the biggest and merriest of Christmases and oh look, he's come to say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, mouthful of food, baby. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Good girl. <laughs> with that, I'll say good night and goodbye and I'll see you in 2022. Oh, come on then. <laughs> Are you going to say goodbye to everybody? We don't want to. You don't want to. say thank you for watching our videos. Mm -hmm. Has it been a long day? Have you had a nice Christmas? Yeah? What was your favourite present? Hot Wheels cars. Hot Wheels cars? Of all those presents, your favourite was the Hot Wheels cars. What about the Scale Electrics? It's good fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you got quite a lot of presents, didn't you, from all our family and from Santa? I think I got my um, Pokemon Wonderland. All right, darling. I'm going to try one more time. Merry Christmas. See you in 2022. Bye-bye.